Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to Sunday's video. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory. This is episode number 112. And in today's episode, we will be carrying on our weekend league journey. Hopefully playing some good FIFA. Enjoying some time with Raul because he is the lone icon that I've chosen to add into our squad for this weekend. Like I mentioned to you in the last episode, which you can check out in the top corner if you missed it. Uh, is that I have decided that I, th I feel like for the next few weeks I might try and get a new loan icon in every now and again. Maybe put one of them in each week. Just try a little bit of something different. Maybe give us a good idea as to what sort of players we're looking to buy going forwards. Now, um, we're 3-0 and in the weekend league and that's where I left you at the end of the last episode. We move on into today's and we continue on our journey. Uh, if you haven't done so already, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that thumbs up button. Uh, we are aiming to try and hit 2,000 likes on every episode of The Road to Glory going forward. If you can make that happen, I'd be very, very grateful. Smash that thumbs up button, hit that target. Thank you so much in advance. Uh, so this first game right here, I whip it in from the corner and I actually had a couple of corners early on in this game uh which i missed and i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna rue these opportunities I'm, I'm gonna be annoyed that i'm missing these opportunities and then abamyang sticks one into the back of the net uh and uh well <laughs> i get the easiest game of the weekend league there a one nil six minute rage quit and i'll take it you know it's it's not very often that that happens so you just gotta be very thankful when that does come around next game prem team Done some Futmus SBCs, done a flashback SBC, I think. And it's just like a nice team. Uh, but being the home team, I got kickoff. I got my opportunity to score in the in the, in the, in the first minute, one minute, oh nine, whatever it normally is. Uh, and then, <clears throat> I mean, you can see just how filthy Abamyang is at doing that shot. And I know a lot of players can do that shot, but I... He has genuinely been the best, like, 500k we spent on this Road to Glory. Because uh, I know it's untradeable, and I know we lost those coins. But, like, he's genuinely been insane. He's genuinely been next level for me. So, um, couldn't be happier that we completed that SBC. He is he is a game changer on FIFA 19, for sure. Um, the height, the pace, everything about him. The fact that they gave him four-star skills this year... I think has totally changed and uh, and made Abamyang just just completely and utterly next level. Uh, and when he has players firing off of him like Mbappe and Neymar, uh, who are just so skillful, both of them, uh, and then of course Raúl uh, adds class to our attack. It's so difficult to get positive goal to game ratios with those four up front because how do you do that? How do you, I've got to score so many goals if I want if I want to do that? Uh, now, I played my 25th game, so I know this is coming out on Sunday, but this was Friday afternoon. I played my 25th game of the week, which meant I get a lone icon. Who are we going to get? English, centre mid. So it's going to be one of three, and unfortunately, it's probably the one that's the worst on FIFA. Pull skulls out of Gerard Lampard and skulls. I think usability-wise... Gerard's probably the most usable, then Lampard, and then Skulls, unfortunately. Uh, so we get a three-game loan on Skulls. So was it really worth it, playing the 25 matches for that? I don't know. I kind of did it anyway, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was it was a little bit like, eh. Kind of wish I got like a Maradona or a Pele for three games. But you know what? So be it. Um, so I'll use Skulls at some point. I don't know when. I don't think it was even prime, was it? I, I feel like that was middle Skulls, uh, 89. Has he got, he's got 91, hasn't he? Yeah, I think I'm right. So be it. He'll be all right. He'll be fun to use for a couple of games, maybe in rivals or something, just to test him out. <clears throat> See if uh, maybe one of one of his cards is usable enough for us to pick up in future. Uh, and I, I kind of like that idea, what they've done there. Um, <laughs> look at that goal. Look at that goal. Uh, yeah, I mean, we get I get stung by one of them later on. I don't know if in this episode or the next episode or something, but I do get stung uh, by a terrible touch from my goalkeeper where the ball just... Uh, comes off his foot like he's hardly even tried to, to, to control it. And it goes in the back of the net. And you'll see that coming up. But it obviously happened to my opponent right here. I don't know if you class that as a uh, sweaty goal. But I did it. So you can class it as what you like. Uh, 
But yeah, three one up at half time in this game. Not not a bad opponent. I'm not gonna lie. But like we were we were really firing and actually getting goals this weekend. League Raul had quite a lot to do with that. I think whether it was him playing that key through ball or whether it was him having that like class and ability. Um, to finish it and, and send it into the back of the net. I've actually really quite liked Mbappe as a central cam. Uh, I do feel like Aubameyang is slightly wasted out wide. But he's great for the headers. He really is good for the headers. It does add another element to my team. But it also makes me feel like maybe we should just get Bale back. Because Bale could be that guy. And then Aubameyang could still be up front. Um... I have lost loads of money, though. That's one thing I wanted to touch on today, as this guy's got red 87 Van Dyke. You lucky son of a... Ah, uh, I'm very jealous of, uh, of a red 87 Van Dyke. Doesn't stop me from 1 minute 10 on the clock scoring a finesse shot party, though. But, uh, you know, I, I still wish I had him. Uh, but, yeah, I've lost loads of coins lately, guys. The market for, like, the, the Neymars, the Mbappes, the Salas... Uh, it's it's come it's come crashing down, uh, which is odd because the market in general I th I believe is up. Uh, when you think about like with, with like flashback Tevez and stuff, it has brought a lot of players up in price that weren't previously expensive that had really dropped off after the Futmus and stuff. Uh, so I do like that that side of the market has gone up a little bit. It means that if you do open packs, you get a little bit more profit if you were to pack those sorts of players. Uh, however. It... <laughs> I've lost loads. Like Neymar, genuinely, when I when I was checking, uh, I bought him for 643k, and I think he's literally like 490k. And that is like me during the weekend league. After Sunday night, when things drop off, he could go down to like 400. I don't know what's going to happen, but I feel like <laughs> that classic meme has come out of like you can't you can't lose uh, can't lose. Can't lose the coins if you don't sell the player. So maybe we never sell Neymar. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we lost like 150k on Neymar as it stands. So uh, dodgy. Not nice. Uh, I, I go into a game against this guy and I just get out -meted. Um He was very good. Don't get me wrong. Very good. I gave a dodgy penalty away at the for him to get his first goal. Which I don't think should have happened. But so be it. He then scores a first time finesse shot on me. And I'm like, well... You know, that could have easily been me down the other end if I could have worked the chance. I couldn't. I get Van Dyke sent off in rage. Uh, I then go 4-0 down uh, after giving him another penalty away and then conceding that one. But from the kickoff of going 4-0 down, I do this. Now, I've already posted this on Twitter, so uh, you may have already seen this. But Lala crossfield balls it. And I just spank it with Aubameyang. Green time finesse. Like... I think I was holding LT, which is why he did the slightly more like scissor kick as opposed to just a normal style volley. But that, <laughs> that right there, probably, it's making me cough. It's probably like the best goal I've scored on FIFA 19. And this guy, like in the last episode, we had the, the case of uh, someone messaging me really negatively and stuff. Uh, but this guy, fair play to him, messaged me afterwards. He was like, GG, that goal of yours was class or it was beautiful or something like that. So I messaged him back. Yeah, I was annoyed at the result. Um, said GG to him and stuff and asked him if maybe that goal could count as six goals so that I could win 6-5. And he was like, yeah, honestly, that was such a class goal. So there are some some nice people out there in the Xbox messages, which is always good to good to know. Um, and yeah, I just literally got out meted by someone that knew the, knew the techniques, knew the mechanics, and I couldn't force the chance. I couldn't make the chance to get that, that opportunity, you know, to actually hit my first time finesses, which is obviously how I score loads of my goals. Um, so if you can, that, that's the main thing on FIFA 19, is that if you can block those opportunities, then you're golden. Now, my opponent here brought on Tevez in the fourth minute, and he literally took one touch and then shot on his weak foot and scored. And I was like, oh man, this Tevez is going to be good. Like, I'm not actually used to going 1-0 down in the weekend league. Uh, I've, I've been genuinely going 1-0 up very early on in all my games. So it felt good when I got back into the game. It took me 10 minutes or so. Um, Kante was the one to score it there. I never shoot with Kante. Because I don't like his shooting stat. I don't think he's good enough to shoot. But that time, uh, it made me feel like, oh, damn, maybe I should just do that more often if I get in the opportunity to do so. Because, like, all green time finesse just go in, right? So um, maybe I need to just keep that in my head and know that any player can do it from anywhere. Uh, but I turned the game around to go 2-1 up. 
But he then gets back in the game with an absolute screamer from Sadio Mane, the, uh, the UCL version. So I believe that's just plus one on all of his stats. But a lovely, lovely goal that wasn't a finesse. Fair play. Uh, and then I green time a header here to go 3-2 up. So after four of the goals in the game were outside the box, um, I finally scored one inside the box. But it was a, it was a header from a corner, which uh, is quite difficult to defend against sometimes. So, you know, they're all kind of cheesy goals from all of us. I guess the only really good one was the, the Mane goal, uh, which wasn't a, a finesse shot. And it was a beautiful power shot from outside the box from my opponent. But I brought Salah on and he basically did what my opponent's Tevez did. First touch, take a touch, score the goal. Like, impact sub, brilliance. Um, and then, oh, there, there was the, the touch from my Alice on there that I mentioned earlier. Tevez manages to just get on the end of that. And uh, I, I like him. I... I Obviously, by the time <laughs> you watch this, I don't know whether the SPC is still live. I think it is for a few hours. And I'm debating it. He seems like an absolutely insane super sub. Like, genuinely would be, like, <laughs> unbelievable on this game. So, I'm debating whether or not to get him. Uh, he's never going to fit in a starting eleven. It's so difficult to link him in. But for the price of that Dybala that we sold, that we packed and we sold, we could get a flashback Tevez to, to sit on the bench. And genuinely with the stats he's got, he's going to be usable as a super sub until tots, surely, right? Uh, or do we keep 150k and know that we've got another 150k to put towards players if we want to buy a tradable player? I don't know. Uh, so I'll figure it out and, and I'll, I'll, I'll either do the SBC or I won't. And you'll see that probably in the next episode or something. Um, but we push our way up to eight wins right now. So we're eight wins <clears throat> and one loss. Solid. Go into this game. That's a really nice team. He's got Red Rashford. He's got Ronaldo. He's also got that Matuidi, uh, really strong defensive line. Pogba, Kante. Like, uh, I knew that this game was going to be tough and I felt like I was probably going to lose it. So uh, I was like, yeah, we're going to be going 8 and 2 in our first 10, which I wouldn't have been too de devastated about. Um, but actually, I scored a really nice green header there with uh, Kazawa once again. He scored the last one for us as well. And then I get through with Raul. Just class, elegance, score, just like that one past the keeper that was running at him and putting some pressure on him. So I actually go 2 0 up. And I was like, damn, didn't expect that. However, it's so difficult to defend against Ronaldo. And uh, he got like a half chance at that angle from, from that distance. I was like, no way. Uh, but you green time that finesse with Ronaldo. And of course, that's going in the back of the net. So it was just one of those ones where I couldn't quite get the defender there. So 2 1. I'm a bit nervous because this, this guy was good and he had a great team. So I just didn't know what was going to happen. And then, like, I hit the, the most ridiculous no-scope there with uh, with Aubameyang. I don't think that was even timed. or It was, like, white-timed, which means it wasn't really timed at all. Uh, he gets through and scores with Sane. A bit of a lucky deflection on that one. Uh, and I think that was kind of a kickoff goal, but it is what it is. Uh, and then, well, I get through and... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> when are they going to patch these? I'm going to be to so, so bad. I'm going to be absolutely rubbish at this game. Worse than I already am uh, when they patch those finesse shots. Because apparently I've learned them better than quite a lot of my opponents. Because I seem to score them all the time. And I I can see them every now and again. But not as often as I score them. Like They're literally a part of my game. Uh, <clears throat> so after playing a couple of games, I actually scored 11 goals and earned the Totty kit. And I definitely want to use that. I think it looks awesome. I really like the look of that. Um, <clears throat> so it's blue at the moment. I switched them later on so that the Totty one's my home. And I think in the next episode, I'll put like the that special EA times Adidas uh, buy-in kit as like the away one. So it's going to be like blue versus red. Just to change up the colours a little bit and stuff for our weekend league. Raul, uh, well, I mean, you will have seen his goal to game there. 170 goals, 92 assists in 199 games for Aubameyang. That's how good he's been for us. It doesn't matter that he hasn't got exactly over a goal a game. There's like four amazing attackers that are always playing for me. It's so difficult to hold a one-to-one -one ratio as well as all the assists he's got. It's crazy. So, um... Uh, even though my my goal to game ratios aren't positive for any of my attackers, it, they are genuinely all firing on all cylinders. It's great, uh, and there's just the case that you can't you got to share all those goals around, right? Um, but anyway, guys, that is going to wrap things up for episode number 112. Like I said earlier, if you haven't done so yet consider hitting that thumbs up on the video. It helps the video out, uh, and genuinely, the support in January so far has been epic. Thank you so much for that, you guys. Have uh, you've made my my January so far? We're only a few days into it, but um, the support has been unreal, mad. So thank you so much for that. Have a great day. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, good luck in the weekend league, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.